Hey, what's poppin' everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a Honeycode website with ease. I'm not talking about any website here. I'm talking about a landing page for a website where someone might enter like an email and maybe like their name. Like those are really only two things you need. I mean, you don't even need the name. All you really need is the email from someone. And then you have them like on lockdown. You can sell them your $5,000 course or something like that. And once you do that, then you've already won the game. So like, why are you here? So I made a video on Honeycode last week, like my first thoughts on it. And now that I have some time to think with my big brain about Honeycode and how it works, it is actually really easy to use. And I actually am starting to grow on it, like on how easy to use, as it is to use, kind of like Excel. And so yeah, yeah, I'll show you how to get started on it. But before we begin, and make sure to triple click that like button for the YouTube algorithm as it'll help my channel a lot. All right, thanks, let's start. So we want to create a workbook. I created one earlier, but that's my secret one, so I can't show you that one. So I'll create a new workbook. So I uh, I didn't use any templates yet because I, I wanted to, to learn, I, I guess I should probably look at the templates, but I wanted to learn from scratch because that's how I like to learn things. So I created the template, ooh, okay. So it'll start with three columns initially, but I don't need three columns like I said earlier. I only need two columns. So I can go and delete table column and boom. And then I would like to name rename these columns. So like I said, we're trying to create a landing page here where someone can enter like an email and a name and then they can be like saved to a database online. So that's the, the end goal here. So email and then we're gonna do name. I'm not gonna specify first name or last name. I'm just gonna say name. I'll let the person decide that. We're not gonna fill anything here so we can delete these. Delete rows, look how easy that is. Okay, so now that's all I'm gonna do on the, the table level. So the build, <laughs> this is gonna be done in like two minutes. But builder level, I'm gonna go create, maybe not two minutes, but uh, I'm gonna build my own. I'm not gonna use an app yet. So build my own. So we can call this page the, so it, it defaults us to a mobile view, which is really interesting. But I mean, that doesn't really matter. But so we can call this page the email landing page or something like that. Um, or whatever, it doesn't really matter what you call it. So we just, we're gonna add an object. So the first thing we would want to like add is maybe something telling them, the user, to enter your email. That sounds, makes about sense, right? Enter your email. And then we maybe wanna say, we wanna have a data cell because we want to have that email be saved to the table. And this is the cool part. So we can, we don't have to have anything here. But we can, on the actions page, we can create an automation. This is, this is where the, the real power of Honeycode kicks in. Like all the other stuff, okay, that, that's cool. But when, um, actually, all right, so once you get that data cell created and added to the block, what you're gonna do is um, you're going to click this data cell and you're gonna click variable on the right side under the data cell properties because this is going to be, of course, a variable. So right now the name is just data cell one. We can just rename this to email cell and then boom, it will change it here. So this will come in handy later once we want to save this to the table. So we're going to do this basically the same thing, except I'm going to do something cool here. So uh, Honeycode has the option where you can cut, copy and paste blocks of kind of like, kind of like HTML, but they're not HTML because you can, you can just do it kind of normally, like Control-C, Control-V, the normal thing. So I'm going to copy here, but it uh, doesn't seem like I can click it, so I'm just gonna do Control-C. I wanted to show you that I was clicking it, but it's fine. So Control-C, so now I'm just gonna do paste. Boom, here we go. So we're instead of email, we're gonna do name here, just for kind of redundancy sake, because we need to add the email and the name. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this email cell. And then paste that in. So now one thing though, is that for this email cell, we do want to rename this to name cell because this one is of course going to change the name in the database. So we probably don't need one either. That's a remnant of email cell one. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the landing page ready to work, except we do need one thing and we need a button. 
ideally. Because once you click this button, the ideal thing is you click the button and then you're, you're done. You get to get the secrets of the internet. So, <laughs> so one way we can do that is we can go to the button, we can click actions, and then we can create an automation. So what the automation will allow us to do is that once we click the button, it'll we can, we're going to have to save the data to the database, the table. I keep saying database. It's not a database. It's a table, although they're kind of similar. All right, so this automation is probably the most complex part about Honeycode, and yet it is probably really easy. But so I'll show you how easy it can be. So you're going to click automation, start when you click. So when you click this button, it's going to trigger an event or multiple events that you would want to happen. So we're going to add an action. So we can notify, add a row. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a row and then navigate. So we'll do add a row first. So we're going to select the table, which we made earlier. So table one. So we're going to take data from, so for example, it says equals data one. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do equals dollar sign, and then we're going to say the email cell, and then it'll pre-populate what, like what we what we want to type in. So we can just type in, we can press enter here, which I'll just do that, and boom, we're going to take data from email cell one and write to, and then it's going to get the columns from our table and like fill them out here or populate them here. So we're going to write that to email, and then boom, that's that, and we're going to do the same thing for the, um, the name cell. So equals dollar sign brackets and then name cell. Boom. We're going to write that to our name. And then it's easy as that. And then what this will do is it will it'll do what exactly what we wanted to do. But we're going to also another, add another action here. We're going to navigate because we can either show like a success message, like you have been added to the, the mailing list, or we can navigate them to the secret screen that only they should be able to equal or enter because they have entered the email. So we're going to add a, navigate to a new screen. So we're going to create a new screen, or we can update new sc the current screen. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to create a new screen, and then boom. Uh, screen one is what we're going to just call it. All right, so now that we have our actions laid out here, we're adding to the adding the new row of the email and the name, and we're going to the new screen. We should probably maybe edit the screen. So it like it, if it shows down here the global navigation, which is screen name for screen is the email landing screen, and then this, this I like how they add little circles to make it oversimplified. The circle is the email landing page. The square is the screen name. So maybe we can call this the secret, super secret landing page. Because I made another landing page before called secret landing page. So we want to make this super secret. Only the highest people, the highest priority people get access to this page. <laughs> All right. So now we want to maybe go to that. So it has this cool screen drop down up here. So super, it says in the title, Cotton Boss, super secret landing page. And then we can add like some content here, like click here to buy our course, our $5,000 course. <laughs> click here to buy my $5,000 course. And then we can have like, it'd be a button actually. So boom, we have a button. I'm not setting that up because I don't actually have a $5,000 course <laughs> yet. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that unless like overinflation happens or something like that. But anyways, so now I think we have enough done so that we can test it. So the really cool part about Honeycode that I really like is this, you can just view app and then you can see everything that you just worked on. So. We can see here we have, oh, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Let me see. All right, so if you notice here, we can't actually enter anything. There's no inputs on this page and the super secret landing page can be accessed. So what we want to do to fix that is we want to hide the super secret landing page and we also want to have our input blocks be inside of the enter your email. So let's go and change that. So let's go back to the previous page. So we're going to change it, take this content box and we can put it inside of this block here. And then that should fix the problem, ideally. Uh, so let's see. Then we want to refresh this page. And it's just very simple. 
So enter your email. Uh, it did not fix it. OK, let's see. So after some looking, this didn't happen to me before when I made like my own before. But we can get rid of the old block. We can see here that there is an editable option. Uh, where did that go? Here. We click the data cell, and you have to click editable for you to be able to edit that. So if we can do that, now it sh we should be able to edit. So let us view the app now. And da, 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 we can edit values. So we're going to put it our name. And then we're going to put our email, gmail.com. <laughs> then we're going to click the button. And ideally, boom, we went to the secret, super secret, super secret landing page. Click here to buy my $5,000 course. Click, 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 click. <laughs> All right. So ideally now, we should have our email be populated into our database. So let's check. Check, check, check. Table. I keep saying database. There we go. We have the, the email and the name that we just entered be populated here. So I think that's a success, if you ask me. And honestly, I think this use case that I just solved here, like of going, having like a landing page where you can just kind of like enter some simple, very simple values like email and name which is really a lot of the times what you need, like when you're selling a course online or something like that. This is really the simplest way. Like anyone can do this. I set this up in like five minutes. You can set this up even quicker because I made like stupid dumb mistakes I didn't make before. But you can like, you can hide this page here, which uh, maybe I'll show you later. But it should be really easy to hide the super secret landing page from Vision <laughs> when you're not, um, when you're not on, when you haven't like submitted the form, that is. Anyways, I hope you found this like mini tutorial kind of thing helpful. I this Honeycode thing was it's kind of been kind of interesting to me on just how easy it is to get up stuff up and running. In fact, I can probably just leave this the super secret landing page or whatever. Like uh, I can probably link this in the description if you really wanted to enter your email name. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just it's kind of more of like a joke at this point because of how easy it is and I didn't I didn't have to pay for any of this that's that's one of the greatest parts too so that's the end of this video I hope you liked it make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you later peace